Here's how to delete other storage on your iPhone. Now, if you have a bunch of storage taking up space in the other category, I'll show you where it is, how to get rid of it, a few different options you have. So let's hop into settings here and we'll scroll down, tap on general, and then we'll tap on iPhone storage. You can see here, it'll show me as much information as they have about different apps taking up different space. I can go through this entire list, but at the very bottom, you can see under here is iOS and system data. So that system data or other is essentially something that I can tap on, but I cannot remove it. So it's taking up 22 gigabytes of space on my phone, it says system data includes cache, logs, and other resources currently in use. It'll fluctuate over time. So this is pretty annoying, especially if you're running out of space and you wanted to get rid of this system data or other storage. So a few different options. One is you can see, of course, it is based on a fluctuation of what your phone is using today and right now. So we can always go back here to general and at the very bottom, you can hit this shutdown button. You can shut down your phone and then restart it. And by doing so, it will delete out some of those cache, some of the logs, and it will reduce that number a bit. But it's not a huge difference. Another option you have, let's go back and just tap on your name at the very top. Now let's tap on iCloud here. And where it says apps using iCloud, let's hit show all. You want on this list, make sure everything is turned on. So everything is turned on, go through all of these different things, make sure everything on here is turned on, go through this entire list and toggle everything on. Basically you want your iCloud to back up everything, including your photos, your messages, all of that stuff. Because next what we'll do is we'll go back, back again, back again and we'll tap on general, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom and hit transfer or reset iPhone. Now on here at the bottom, let's hit erase all content and settings. And what this will do is it'll erase everything, including that other data. So go through the steps of hitting continue and erase your iPhone. But when you go to basically set it back up, when you go to register it again with your Apple ID, make sure you do not just transfer everything over from a backup because that backup will include all of that other system storage. So what you're gonna do is just sync it up with your iCloud and have all of that information from your iCloud transferred into your iPhone, but not use the backup because then it will basically not include that other storage and you should free up a bunch of extra space on your iPhone. Keep in mind that other storage does fluctuate so it could go up over time after that, but this is a great way to reduce it initially so that you can free up some space. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.